Welcome to another episode of Paranormal Spirits. Today, we're going to take a trip to California. I'm going to tell you a little tale about the Whaley House. Thomas Whaley, who was a Scottish, Irish bro, took over his father's successful business and ended up getting married to Anna Delaney, Delaney. So after he got married, they went to San Diego. They purchased land and began construction on what would be the family home. The property was the site of one of the town's most famous public executions. What is that execution, you may ask? It was the hang-in of the infamous thief Yankee Jim Robinson. And what did he do? He stole a boat. Now, are we talking, like, big boat? Are we talking rowboat? Are we talking canoe? Like, what kind of boat? Just non-specific variety of boat? Boat. Because the, he was hung there, people thought the land would be, you know, bad juju. Thomas Whaley said, I don't care. And he started to build the house anyways. On August 22nd, 1857, the Whaley's moved into their new home. Unfortunately, it was not long after the Whaley family moved into the home that some sad stuff started to happen. Their youngest son, Thomas, who was 18 months old, died of scarlet fever, so he passed away in the house. A few months after that, there was a fire, and they had, like, a general store in the home as well, and the fire destroyed the general store. Things kept getting worse. They had two daughters. Violet, one of the daughters, married some guy who was clearly Italian because his name was George Portolacci. Shortly after he and Violet got married, he revealed to her in a letter that he had a rather sordid past. Her parents were insistent on her severing all contact. Violet was feeling real sad. Her husband was not what she thought he was gonna be. And then she killed herself. After all this, Thomas was like, you know what? We out. And the family left the Whaley house and the Whaley house was vacant for over two decades. Thomas Whaley died in 1890 because he had bad health and his wife died 15 years later in 1905. So the Whaley family never returned to the home. Now let's get to the ghosts. Even before the Whaley family passed away, they experienced things in the home. During its restoration periods, like the workers, they would hear strange sounds, see things, and they would smell things. Obviously, the big heavy hitter freaking ghosty ghost is a uh, Yankee Doodle Dandy, uh, Yankee Jim Robinson, right? It says that he would make eerie noises. You could hear him stepping and stomping all through the house, lots of loud footsteps, and he would leave disembodied footprints. And then baby Thomas, little baby Nuggetino Thomas, passed away when he was 18 months old. People could hear like tiny footsteps or the sounds of him crying or even giggling, like little tiny Tommy giggling um, when nobody was around, which not a fan. I don't care how cute you are. I don't care how you died. Please don't giggle. Keep your post-mortem joy to yourself. Some people have reported seeing a young woman lingering on the second floor of the house. It's believed to be Violet. It's said that her presence is felt. And there's also cold spots throughout the mansion or the home that are believed to be Violet. This one is a little weird because there was no like direct reasoning for it, but people have also reported seeing a little girl in the dining room. Um, one of the employees claims it is the spirit of a young girl named Annabelle Washburn, who was a playmate of the Wheelie children. The story behind her says that she ran into a low hanging clothesline and broke her neck. And Thomas found her and put her on the dining table where she passed away. That's horrifying. How tight does your clothesline have to be in order to break someone's neck? How fast could she run? Was she roadrunner status? <laughs> There's really no record of her ever existing, so I don't know if that's a lie or not. But Thomas and Anna they are also said to have like, you know, their presence is felt. A lot of people have seen Thomas standing at the top of the stairs. And then other people say that they can smell Anna's French perfume. Again, how do you know? Maybe she had a very particular parfum. Other occurrences that happen around the house are lights turn on and off. There's like a crystal chandelier in the dining room that will be swinging like this, apparently. And then, you know, obviously random noises and footprints and stomps and all that sort of stuff happen too. The Whaley House now is like a place where they do ghost tours and stuff there now. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> it's a heck of a haunting. 